We're all living at a time where Sega don't make the Mega Drive or Genesis anymore, and because they're still popular today, this leads to other companies like Ad Games releasing their own versions of this iconic system. This is the Ad Games Sega Mega Drive Classic Game Console. Console. Now the first thing I notice is how tiny this thing is, roughly two game cartridges, yet despite the size, it can actually play them. Press the on off button to use the cartridge just like the real thing. But the console also has 15 games built into it. If you press the menu button, it goes into the game selection with all the inbuilt games. And I must say, there are some very good games listed. Now they vary depending on regions or console type, like some have 20 games or even 80. Like here's a list of the games on this particular console. It has two controller ports, an AV, and AC input. And what I criticize is that it doesn't have a red input so you don't get stereo, but at least you don't need anything fancy to work it. It's just a regular power and AV cable, so if you need a new one, and being aftermarket I imagine you would, they're easy to come by. Now I've seen some North American versions of these things that have a switch so you can play Sega Mega Drive games from Japan, North America, the Genesis, and the power regions so it adds a bit of flexibility which is pretty cool. So just from first impressions, it's actually not a bad console remake. But from the moment you start playing that first game you choose, you will notice a cloud of disappointment surrounding you and the TV, especially if you're a Sega Mega Drive or Genesis fan. Now what did I say about the AV input? That it doesn't have stereo? That's probably the least of its problems because the overall sound of music is god awful. It sounds way too sharp. To demonstrate just how bad a game sounds on this thing, I've whipped up a few games on it and compared it to Sega's own Mega Drive. If you grew up with Sega consoles of the past, you'll agree that a Mega Drive game is not supposed to sound like that. You can also tell from the music that the gameplay slows down just enough to become noticeable. I get the feeling Ad Games did this on purpose to avoid copyright troubles from Sega, though realistically it's just because the console sucks. In fact, the only category that stays on par with the real deal is the graphics. That's not exactly a big list of plus points. The controls that come with it are also terrible. They're shaped like the original 6 button ones, but they break easily. This has a d-pad that doesn't go right, and this one has buttons that have a mind of its own. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I mean, this controller here is probably over 20 years old and it still works just fine. And from what I've heard, some of the games in the Mega Drive or Genesis library don't even work on this console. Like, I can't imagine Virtual Racer to work on this. In addition, you can't attach a Mega CD or 32X, so don't even bother making a collection of those games if you only have an Act Games Mega Drive. It may have a bit of flexibility, but it does have some compatibility issues. Oh, and people thought the Retron 5 held onto games like a child holding onto their parents. I'm not going to give it a rating because you already get the idea. It may sound like good value on paper with 15 to 80 games to go with it, and some even have wireless controls, but come on, an aftermarket console with wireless controllers, who's going to trust that? If there's one thing aftermarket consoles have a bad reputation for, it's poor build quality, and this one's no different. If you're new to the Sega Mega Drive and only getting started, I recommend the Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Or if you're a PC gamer, then Steam has you covered. Or even better, just get the real thing. In actuality, it's cheaper, and obviously more reliable. And that was the At Games Mega Drive console review. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other reviews. Thanks for watching, guys.